Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas alongside Glover Teixeira, who meets James Tahuna at UFC 160 this Saturday night live on pay-per-view. Glover, it's good to see you. Originally, you were supposed to fight Ryan Bader. Now you're fighting James. Which fight did you like more? I, I don't know, man. I, I think they both a uh, good fight. They both tough. They they a little different. Uh, I think Tahuna is uh, is more as a striker, and I think uh, it's going to be more exciting for the fans. So. I have to say this one. You like this matchup? You think he is a, a more exciting fighter? Is that accurate? Yeah, I think so. I, nothing to take away from Ryan Bader. I think he's a great fighter as well. But I think for for my style, this this fight will match more. As far as your rise up the rankings, which opponent would get you higher up? You know the, you know the ladder, so to speak. Ryan or James? Do you feel like you get the same beating either guy? I think so because uh, you, you, you think the way you perform in the in the ring. I, th you know, the UFC people, they uh, in, in the media, it's true, everything. It's like it's how you perform. It's not who you're fighting. They're the truth. Like this guy's tough. You know, he's coming up and uh, and uh, go over there and trying to finish his fight, keep fast pace and uh, keep the pressure. And uh, I think uh, that's like that win it doesn't really matter who you who you're fighting. You know, that win will take you to the next level. Did you see his last fight? Yeah, I did. Were you impressed with it? Yeah, I was, you know, I was impressed because he's tough, you know, he's, uh, he got knocked down, I think, in the first round, and he come back and he, 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 he won the fight, so it's, it's pretty tough. Most importantly, though, what do you think of his walkout? He came out of Men in Black, you know, with the suit. Did you like that? I know I didn't see the walkout. I, you know, of course, I heard about it, you know, and I see the pictures, but uh, no really matter, man. You wouldn't do something like that. You're not that kind of guy. I don't dance, so uh, no. I think again in the fight, you know, I'm ready to fight. I wouldn't do any, uh, you know. I'm not really cool with the all thing. business. I'm not that cool, you know. I think you're pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. You too. With the always yeah. nice shoes. Yeah, you too. Nice shoes. Yeah, see. Like the Ice Man. Yeah. You're calm, cool, and collected, but you're not flashy. Yeah, you know, I try to. My my dream was like my big fan was Chuck Liddell, of course, and 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 uh, Mike Tyson, because they they get fans by knocking people out. I mean, of course, Tyson later on he become like, but beginning, he wasn't he wasn't talking shit. He was just like a rumble guy and knocking people out. That's why he got so, and that's the way I think. Man, I think if I go, I don't do any talking or any thing to promote the fight. It's, you know, maybe I should a little more, but. Um, the knockouts and I, that's why I train. I train really hard so I can pressure the fight and try to knock people out so get the fans, you know. You're a very interesting situation because, you know, you're on this amazing winning streak, yet some people say you haven't been top 10 guys. How far away do you think you are from being in the discussion fighting for a title? Like, like I say, you know, I train. I've been training hard, and I try to go over there and uh, and and put my game on and knock this guy out or, or finish him on the ground with him, you know, just uh, do a beautiful fight and uh, whatever they decide. Man, I really don't 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 think much of uh, when I'm gonna fight or not. I, uh, you know, if, like I say, if they say me I'm gonna fight John Jones next, uh, I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. Like I'm, I'll be ready for that fight. Were you happy with your last performance, your win over Rampage? Yeah, I'm happy because, you know, I fought tough guy, but, you know, you always look at the fight. That's how you learn, you know. You're never, you're never happy, you know, not, don't get me wrong, I'm happy because I got the, the W, but uh, you, you always look in the fight and you want to you, you wanna change some more and you change your camp training everything else. So I'm, uh, that's how you learn. I think this fight is going to be faster pace and, and that'll be better. One last thing. Recently, you put out a video where you were talking about gun control. Uh, you talked about how your it was your niece, right, who was in Newtown, and uh, it was a bit of a controversial video because people don't like when celebrities and things of that nature talk about gun control. Why did you feel the need to put out this video? Listen, they, they asked me to do this video, and okay, but the, the impression they got the video is kind of like I, I you know like I hate guns. I'm against guns. Like it, it's like the only thing I say about it was like. I think they should have a little bit more of a, of a back, background check or something because uh, I don't think they do as much, you know. I think anyone can go over there and, and buy it. So I say, you know, they should do some some stronger background check and, uh, and I don't know, but like that's the way I think, man. I don't, it's, this is not just in America, all over the world, but like, you know, 
I think it, it's like, like if you get pissed off or something, you can go over there and buy a gun right now, you know? It's like they just sell your gun, really. And uh, that's all I say, but like, I think the impression that people get from me is like that I hate gun, you know? Most of hunters, they get really mad. Did you get a lot of flack for that, a lot of negative uh, tweets and comments and things like that? Some, not much, but, you know, most of positive, you know, That's most good. of it's positive. But, uh, you know, even the, the negative ones, I think, was because they, they, they got the wrong impression, you know. How is your niece doing? Oh, she's doing great, you know. She's, uh, I don't like to talk about it, but she's, she's doing great. That's great to hear. Well, I look forward to this fight. This is a great fight for you, a big fight at 205, and I appreciate the time as always. Thank you, man. Thank you.